Hello everybody, Joe Tactical here again. In this video I just wanted to share with you guys uh, my thoughts and some of the differences, comparisons, whatever, 550 cord versus bank line. Now, let me say that each specific task dictates what you need to do that task. Okay? And both of these cordages, cordage? <laughs> both this kind of cordage uh, has specific tasks where it might perform and outperform the other. Let me say right now that in the event of you have to get the job done, do what it do what it's got to do, it might not be the ideal whatever, you can make do with either one of these for the most part. Okay, there's some drawbacks to each of them and, and I'm just going to kind of give you my two cents on that. And really, uh, bank line isn't really uh, as mainstream as 550 cord. Okay, and, and I hope to promote bank line. If nothing else, be aware that you have more than just one cordage option for your outdoor type stuff. Now, let's talk about some obvious downsides, okay? You know, all right, well, when you cut 550 cord, you have to kind of maintenance it because it'll fray a little bit. And um, a downside to bank line would be it's a tarred nylon kind of string, okay? It's heavy duty, all right? And there's different grades of uh, bank line as well, okay? So, the, the downside to it being tarred would be if you were to leave it in a vehicle kit of some kind, whether it be you left your vehicle or you left your get home bag or you have a vehicle bag or whatever it is, um, supposedly because of the tar, it can melt and kind of make a, a mess. To what extent, I don't know because I don't really do that, so I, I haven't tested it, but I'm bringing to you guys different research and different things I found, you know, talking with people and things like that. So there are the two kind of downsides. The benefit of 550 cord is you can break it down into seven inner strands as well as the outer, 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 <laughs> uh, the outer strand if you want to call it a strand or the, the outer sleeve of the 550 cord. So that gives you a total of eight uh, you know, of the length of that one. So you're taking a 10 foot piece and you're times in it times eight, that's 80 foot of not as strong cordage. Well, bank line breaks down to three and I believe they're all like that. I don't really know uh, if some of them are, you know, four strand, I don't know, but I think they're all three strand, okay? Now there's different weights of, of bank line. Personally, I like the 30, it's a 36 or number 36 bank line and it says it has a tensile strength of 320 pounds okay so that's more than half of 550 cord now there is some 550 cord out there that isn't mil spec and it doesn't have the 550 load rating okay so not all 550 cord is the same all right the reason why I went with bank line the one of the main reasons actually is because I don't necessarily need cordage that's 550 uh, pound rating. And the number six allows me to, at least for the bulk, carry more cordage in the same size. And by the way, these two uh, hanks of cord aren't necessarily the same exact length. Okay, so don't think that that's the difference. I'm just, this is just stuff I had laying around and I figured I'd, I'd share it with you guys. So. If, if size, not necessarily weight, because they're, I guess, about the same or whatever. This is a little bit more dense because of the treating that it has on it, but this is a little bit more uh, bulky, so it gives you weight. But uh, I wasn't so much concerned with the weight as I was the bulk. Okay, so I downsized the tinsel strength a little bit for a little bit more of compact size. Again, these aren't the same length here, so don't think this is the same length as this and it's that much more compact. This might even be longer than that, but don't quote me on that because I'm just guessing, okay? So 
uh, don't go by that at all. Scratch what I just said. <laughs> but um, I like the bank line because when you tie, uh, you know, certain things, the tar actually helps it bind on itself. And if you combine this with specific knots, it's easy to untie, but you have to step up your knot game, which I'm kind of weak when it comes to, uh, you know, knowing a million different knots. I know a few basic ones that I've always used and they work for me. I do want to expand my knot capabilities, if you will, but, you know, man, it's so boring to watch knot videos. <laughs> okay, it is so boring. Uh, I, I find that the only time uh, I'm, I'm really ambitious enough to learn knots is when I'm using something and somebody comes over and says, hey, try this knot for doing that. That's the only time. And yes, I can acknowledge the importance of learning them in video form because that's easy. You can play back. You can try it at the coffee table just like we're sitting right now. Blah, blah, blah. It's just so boring to me. So I stick to really basic stuff that works. And it, it, it works. Um, and with that, you know, whether it be 550 quarter bank line, I can make do. Uh, but I like the bank line a little bit better because it has close to the same strength and it's more compact. But it doesn't mean that I'm going to make a lanyard to go around my neck out of bank line because it's tarred. I'm not going to do that. That's where 550 cord comes in. Maybe I can hollow the 550 cord. Maybe I could use the 550 cord to skin, you know, hollow out the 550 cord, take the skin of the 550 and feed the, uh, feed the bank line through. Who knows? Uh, another thing that's cool about the bank line is, like I said, there's different ratings. Now, the ratings mean it's going to be smaller or larger, but it's going to be able to have a higher tensile strength or less tensile strength, breaking points, things like that. So you kind of have a little bit more versatility based on what your kit needs. Now, 36 is a good, that's a good size. I really like that a lot. But if I were to try to incorporate this and say some type of, uh, emergency Altoids kit, which I don't necessarily agree with the, the completeness of an Altoids can, if you, uh, Altoids tin, if you will, but maybe you could run a smaller bank line for that and it's better than nothing. Okay, so just kind of throwing that out there. Where if you try to start stocking any decent length of 550 cord, it, it's a little bit more bulky. Okay, so just throwing that out there as well. And yes, you can break this down, but it kind of loses its potency as far as I'm concerned if you start breaking it down because those those fibers inside the, the uh, 550 car cord, they're not really, I don't, if I have to uh, break down 550 cord, I don't really like how that cordage is, okay? I just, I'm not a fan of it. Yes, I'd make do with it, obviously, but um, nevertheless, I just, you know, I, I would prefer to go with bank line or something like that and just get a smaller bank line. And on that note, let me just say that uh, as far as bank line goes, I just have the number 36. I haven't worked with the smaller stuff or anything like that. Uh, I like the 36 because it's it's the mini me of 550 cord. So that's kind of how I use it uh, with outdoor applications. And also, it's it's going to be a little bit more impervious to wear in certain situations. So. You know, if, if nothing else you got from this video, you hear just kind of like my thoughts on between 550 cord and bank line and stuff like that. Just if nothing else, if you weren't really familiar with bank line, maybe you've heard of it but didn't really know too much about it, give it a try. If you order, I got this from Bass Pro Shops, um, you know, because I couldn't get it locally or whatever. If you order something, the next time you order something, check to see if they have the tarred bank line or mariner line, whatever they call it. Just get a roll for, I don't know, six bucks, eight bucks or whatever. I think I paid like eight bucks a roll. I got two rolls. I'm out of the other roll because of all the hanks of uh, bank line I put in different kits, but I still have this roll uh, and I'm going to get some more. I'm also going to get some more of the, uh, the smaller stuff for more compact type stuff, but um, try it out. Try it out, let me know what you think. Also, if you have tried it, let me know what the pros and cons, if you've done a comparison, because for a long time, all we used was bank line, or I mean uh, 550 cord, where now I'm getting into the bank line and I'm really liking it, and I'm phasing it you know, into my system and phasing out the 550 cord 
in a lot of applications. Okay, but like I said, lanyards, uh, if they're going around your neck, something like that, whatever, bracelets, different things like that. Bank line or a 550 cord is always going to have a place with me, but so is bank line. So they're different tools for different applications, but again, sometimes if all you got is a hammer, you got to do what you got to do to get the job done. So just want to share it with you guys and thank you very much.